participants. Here's Chuck Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, the officials assigned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission for the first bout of the evening. The judges are Dolby Shirley, Patricia Jarman, and Dave Moretti. The timekeeper is Al Bicek. Counting in the knockdowns, Mike Morabito. The attending physicians at ringside, Doctors Donald Romeo and Al Campana. And your referee is Carlos Padilla. The opening bout of the evening featuring four rounds of boxing in the light heavyweight division. Introducing, in the red corner, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 172 pounds, with a professional record of no wins, two defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Adrian Riggs. And in the blue corner, from Detroit, Michigan, he too weighs 172 pounds. This young man is making his professional debut, introducing professional Michael Morer. Okay, you the right to box for four rounds. You know the rules of boxing. Avoid using any kinds of power. Don't throw any punches during the break. That clear. Seconds come out fighting. All right, Carlos Padilla with the instructions to the fighters. This young man here, Michael Moore, is making his pro debut. And this man, Riggs, is the brother of uh, Gerald Riggs, the very famed and talented running back of the Atlanta Falcons of the NFL. Well, I told you, if you're a southpaw, you got to love it tonight. We've got four lefties out there, and Moore in the gold trunks out of the Cronk stable in Detroit is uh, number one. Does that mean we have to announce from a different angle or what? <laughs> there are those who say we do. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people think we announce Southpaw all the time. Right. There are those who think we've been practicing this for a long time this way. Moore is, uh, was an outstanding amateur. Uh, and one of the things that he did in his amateur days that we're seeing from him right now is he's a very good stand-up boxer. He's got an excellent jab, good straight left hand. And one of the things they've been working on is, is the right hook to make sure it is following suit. Emmanuel Stewart, um, as we talked with his young protege this morning, said that he, uh, he all but destroyed a middleweight in his camp. And he said, if you're going to take one of my men out of commission, and you're going to have to forget about the Olympics, and you're going to have to turn pro. So he was apparently thinking very much of Olympic participation in this, the Olympic year in Seoul. Yeah, he was sparring with uh, Darnell Knox, who went, was going to go on to fight Michael Nunn, of course, a big, tall lefty, and they used Moore when he was an amateur as a, a prototype of Michael Nunn, and Moore, as, as Daniel said, wound up really doing a number on Knox. Kind of intimated that by the time Moore got through with Knox, that Nunn really didn't have a problem with him. Chris Michael uh, performed pretty well that night yes. himself. Yes, that's but right. still, uh, you can take a lot of his sparring out of a guy. Oh, oh, Riggs is really trying to go to the body here, trying to get that left hook in. Uh, and one of the things you got to know about Riggs is this is only the fourth fight he's had in life, period. Two as a pro and two is, and, and one as an amateur. He caught a left uppercut yeah. coming in now that jolted him for just a second. Riggs, that is. He's in the blue. Oh, and a chopping left hand. And Riggs is down. Padilla steps in and shoves Moore away as he was hammering him with a free hand while he was on one knee. Ten, Counts at six. Seven, eight. Are you okay? Riggs says he's all right. Now Padilla is overstating the obvious. Don't hit him while he's on the ground. All right. The experience factor is such a big one here. Moore hurting him at will. Riggs is really hurt again, and Padilla stopping it. Boy, I'll tell you, this guy throws a left hand that is exciting, is it not? Michael Moore, a fine amateur, and uh, people have been interested in seeing him as a pro. It's obvious that Riggs really outmanned in this fight, but it didn't detract from Michael Moore's performance. He looked very sharp, and you know, Michael Moore, you see him, there's some anxiety. Uh, as they check over Riggs today from Moore about this particular fight, his first fight as a pro. I think he was, you could sense, I don't know about you, Tom, but I sensed just this tense feeling him about him. Well, I tell you, he's got a left hand that is certainly something to see. Uh, not discounting the fact that Riggs might not be the toughest guy he'll ever fight, that chopping left hook right there. And you can see that Riggs is trying to stay on his feet and can. Now, this is where he gets belted again a couple of times. And it would be... The right hand this time that would hurt Riggs, kind of a looping right hook by Michael Moore. And even though in that action and the other one, he looked a little uh, like he was brawling, 
the, the, his ticket to fame in the light heavyweight division will be his boxing skills. Well, he certainly is a promising young man. He's 6'2", and he's got great size. His pro debut was a big success. Chuck Hall has the official time. Yeah, Ladies and gentlemen, the time. Two minutes, 26 seconds of the first round. Referee Carlos Padilla stops the bout. The winner by a technical knockout, successful in his professional debut, Michael Morer. Michael Moore, TKO 226 of round number one. And that took care of that.